So first, years of experience presumes an individual works 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that means on average, one year of work experience is equal to 8,760 hours. And that's also assuming that you're, 50, you're working 52 weeks out of the year, but we don't work 24 seven, do we? Now the average professional works five days a week, eight hours a day in 52 weeks out of the year. That's assuming no paid time off, no holiday. So at, on average at mass, you're gonna get 2,080 hours. So if you look on the yellow diagram right there, you're automatically given 6,680 hours. You don't have to work for that at all. Now, 2,080 hours is not even equivalent to a quarter of the year. Think about that. Based on that math, it would take you four to six years to get one quantifiable year of experience. And your employer is mandating this right now. Surprisingly though, the average professional only spends two to about four hours completing the activities in their job description. Now why? That's because a lot of the time spent planning, emails, meetings, distractions, and instant messages. So if you're only averaging 1,040 hours doing the actual work, it would take you seven to eight years to get one quantifiable year of experience. Now, we also found in the study that increased years of experience does not significantly or consistently influence performance. Doesn't matter if I had someone with 10 years of experience or five years of experience. The guy with 10 years of experience is not doing any better, okay? And then years of experience does not consider how many hours the individual actually dedicates to performing that task in the day, and they don't consider the quality of their work. So yeah, you could have a bunch of years of experience, but is that experience any good? And what is the quality associated with it?